Yo what up welcome back to Cave Culture's YouTube channel and this is your boy Young Weasel and no this is not your regular schedule programming this is something different out of my comfort zone and it's called fixing the MK1 aka the learning channel the learning channel um, it basically came about when I finally decided to fix my car and I thought I'm an artist that doesn't box himself into one category why not film it and learn this whole thing I don't know anything about cars so basically I'm no Ashwin from Broken Law Garage or any automotive youtuber that's popping now um, I'm starting a clean slate don't know anything gonna learn gonna get better and Shout out to Willa and Ezra for helping me. Also, shout out to Ashwin from Broken Law Garage for hooking me up with the gearbox, the new one, and also helping me take out the old gearbox. Respect. Also, another thing, it's not a regular upload. It's more gonna be as I progress, there will be uploads. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's go. So yeah, basically bought in 2016, um, there wasn't much to do on the car, like minor stuff, that's why I actually bought the car because I just needed to do minor stuff, but there was already a rust, I drove it for like 3 years and then the gearbox started to give problems and then I just left the car. And it stood for like another three years and then the rust actually got worse. I'm not a car enthusiast that heavy. I'm more um, invested in my equipment and I actually never spend much time on the car. Which I know is a bad thing because look after your car and your car looks after you. Yeah, I was my mindset wasn't there though. So so hopefully I can redeem myself so in today's video we're going to be taking out the motor well the rest of the motor because the gearbox is already taken out um, remove the rear main seal because another thing was i had a problem with uh, the rear main seal leaking so don't forget if you are new to the channel subscribe hit the like button and also drop a comment what your thoughts are on the video and also any tips and advice for us as you are watching the video it will really be appreciated because uh, it can help someone else in the comment section who are maybe struggling with the same thing you never know there might be someone in the comment section that also needs the help and they read your comment and they were like what so yeah let's get into today's video i look so mad like on the video but in real life i look crazy like this all But well are they? Wesley and we got oh, And we got Ezra here. Starting for the Muslim. The man fan. The man fan starting. The man fan starting. This is pretty much lining up the motor. Oh I bought this. Uh, what's oh, a boat? Yeah. This wasn't just for the lining up of oh. the box or anything. Mm -hmm. What we tried to do is remove the pressure plate so that we can get to the rear main seal. So that um, we can do the replacement of the rear main seal as well. I think we got the, the replacement part. We got the replacement part. Yeah, yeah, we got the replacement part. Roger that, roger that. I need, like, yeah, yeah, on that side. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you can see yeah, there. Yeah. There, because 17. if you, I think it's a 17 now. Yeah. There, because if you turn it, if you turn there, then that whole thing moves. You see. So if you actually have to turn here, whatever the case may be, it moves on the other side. So I'm gonna stop the video just to say. This is why it's called the learning channel. You learn, you learn from your mistakes. <laughs> and you're gonna see later in the video why. Let's continue with the video. 
we're gonna set the timing because we want to remove the cam belt because when we're turning on the crank pulley it's uh, pretty much <laughs> moving all the settings around so we're gonna take the cam belt off we just want to make sure that we have TDC and we're going old school and we're trying to get TDC through spark plug number one But explain to the people who do not know. Um, sure, you're gonna ask me now. Very damn good question. But uh, so pretty much, it's a four-cylinder car. Cylinder number one and cylinder number four will be top dead center. Top dead center means cylinder. Piston number one and piston number four is going to be right up top, so it's pretty much meeting the top cylinder. And then piston number three and piston number two is going to be right down at the bottom. So if we put the screwdriver in on spark plug number one, then we'll be able to feel that um, once we turn the crank pulley, that you can feel the piston is right up top. And then once it's right up top over here, you'll be able to see on the side that will get a um, top dead center here on the cam belt um, which is as it is indicating over here now there's generally a marker on your pulley and you can see on the cover on the inside it says AT and it has the arrow and technically that's supposed to match up these two are supposed to match up then you know it's top dead now in the event that this isn't working um, the most simplest way to know mechanically is feel it here and that's why I said rather work with this than working with the settings on the side because what are the chances that that's going to be correct I'd rather work with what I know mm. safest now we just remove the cam belt spring it to the edge like this and then we're gonna loosen up the the tension of this is a major detail. I'm going to get it for 15. No, it's a 15, is that right? 15. Maybe release the tension on the belt. Now that the tension is released, just slide off the cam belt. As simple as that, man! <laughs> but what advice do you have for people that want to take over tension on the belt? Um, is there any advice or so they need to know and should do and not do just make sure you got your timing right TDC is probably your most important thing because that's the firing of the car because you're gonna have your cylinder working from the top and you're gonna have your piston or the block working from the bottom and it needs to fire at the exact same time so if you're gonna have something on the top out it's going to hurt your pistons and your valves and if you have something from the bottom not your pistons your, your valves if you have something wrong on the bottom, it's going to hurt your piston pretty much. So, yeah, timing is timing is crucial. Timing is everything. And replace your cam belt so when's here? Mama, don't like replacing the cam belt. Isn't there like a, like a mileage on it that you're supposed to like... I don't know the exact mileage, but... Um, I would rather on the Mark 1 prefer to check your belt regularly because you could have something like your tensioner, one of your pulleys being worn out and it will pretty much like run down your cam belt sooner than what it's supposed to be replaced. So rather like check your cam belt on a regular basis. Just to make sure, just to make sure yeah, so that you don't run into any issues. No, no. We don't do that. So what's the current situation? Um, <laughs> you move up. Yeah. What is the current situation? The current situation is high time. I'm going to try something right now. Um, one is going to turn in uh, one direction and the other one is going to turn in the opposite direction. Just so that we can pivot it and like... Yeah. We don't have anything to pin it. So we're rather going to just hold with the one and the other one moving the opposite direction for how much. My idea of didn't work. My yeah, my idea. That's why I was saying my idea didn't work out. But I swear I saw it in a video where they use a power bar on the other side. So apologies. 
fazer isso. Aí, Bruno, eu quero ser um fundo e a outra daí pra o barco. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Fai, não, foi de mão, tudo bem, que zorai, tem que atorir, fai, ou, cabra. Como, como, como? Quer dizer, você vai lá? Mas nem que terei que se ter. Ela vai lá, ela fez o quê? Fui lá. Um, we pretty much going to try and just drop the whole moat out. And we want to see if we can try and loosen the pressure plate from the engine. And then once we do that, we're going to put the rear main seal, put the box on and then just drop in the whole motor afterwards. Which would be a simpler process because removing it in the position that it is right now is rather risky. And it is a little bit more difficult, I think, because everything has been locked up. Uh, for such, such a long period, so we're going with a safe option. With a safe option. Oh. With the click on the new one, bundle and bundle. Is that the club? This is what I'm doing now. The exhaust to the manifold. Um, this is an old school way of doing it, but um, I guess it won't make in the day. Just do it like light. Hij is ook een beetje niet over naar Petrolik. Ze moeten voor de ijs aankomen, moet ik een beetje te weer gaan wat in haar gekomen. Zeker steek. Ja. Is dat ding even coming los? Is dat die Q20? Q20. Wat is Q24? Um, het is een lubrikant. Niet zo wel lubrikant in Marwa. Hij is even aan. Nee, 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 nee. Dat was like auditory dit. Okay. Nah, never heard of Q24. It needs a lubricant that you are speaking about. Bob Zarask. Bro. Zarask? Yes. What's that? In the basket, that kind of thing? Sponsored by Q20. What for a motorbike? The man said I just fighting this. The manly choice. Hello, Number one! <laughs> Joker Rosen. Yo, my bro. Okay, that means. I was in the money cocaine. You look drugs. Tools and dots. <laughs> Don't hide cocaine in the motor. Um, just remember where you took everything <laughs> off, my bro. <laughs> That's most important. Just remember where you took everything off. Um, yeah. And don't lay under the car when you're busy taking out the motor. Make sure that you stay clear of anything that's going to hurt you. But pretty much Mark 1, straightforward. Straight, straightforward. If you mess it up, Jaisa go Mors. Jaisa go Mors. The white that's here on the pack, what is that? What corrosion? Oh, uh, yeah. But. Um, it's a very unique one. How so? It's, it's water related, but um, by water related, I mean this is part of the water system. So this is probably because you weren't using any anti antifreeze. Um, so chances are with that build up like yeah. that. The weird thing is I did put in. Either. Okay, but obviously. It depends on what also. There's a certain quality, I think the green one the guys don't mm, like. The green. Yeah, the green, green one, one I aren't all, all, aren't all anti freeze like green? Not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. No, I've never seen different I've colors. never seen both of them. There's a yellow one as well. Mm -hmm. And specifically they spoke about uh, I think it's Volkswagen or just at least German motors in general. The green one is not compatible. Um, it does work, it does work, but I know on the newer model vehicles it's it's not suggested at all because it just causes problems. So do you, pref do you prefer German or like Japan, Japanese? Um, German all the way. Oh. German all the way. Yeah, reason for <laughs> being, a reason, a reason for being. Maybe you can blow a motor and you can still drive it. <laughs> That's German. Straight up. Opel can't go wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you was ready. I think you and what in you, right? Yeah. I like that. I didn't know if you was ready. I think you and what. Power is what? Whoa, the man. 
and you said you have to go to the gym again and man school of the ones I'm not out to go to the gym he's a bit in luck Hmm. The ones are trying, but they don't get it. Would you say the mountains are so high? Also, how would you determine if the mountains is cloud or not? Um, For those who... This is a learning channel. So. Okay, um, then I guess I'm learning too. But generally, it's a little bit more brittle than this. Mm. Um, and you can feel it in your drive as well when you... Pull away first gear, you feel a little shake on the steering wheel, then you know dance, yeah. engine mountings is it's on its way out if, if it's not already. Mm. Um, yeah, I think the, the gearbox one, this rubber generally tears you on one of the sides. It also gives you an indicator. You can have a look from the side as well. So this one has some wear on it, but not enough. But you can see the slight tear from mm. here, it will just continue thing as time goes by and then ultimately just it's very difficult to, to, to select the gear when your gearbox mounting specifically is um, busted okay. that's the, the one bracket we have another one that we need to remove We'll probably get this thing out before the sun sets, so early, early customs. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Owens and Stellan Boss, they're always doing a good job. Um, putting CPT on the map and broken law. Nah, I top Owens, Kapan, Kapan. That's it, that's it. I don't know what I'm but the sofa is eight, so do you have a tire? Uh, I have like a spare tire. My clump tires. Also don't work. Or what? Ah. What now? He's mad. You put it. He's mad. Look, you put it under your tongue and open it. Look, I break the man's so so the man's the man's the feet now. So she said. Yes. <laughs> What's that like? No, that's like a 21. 21. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 17, 17. What are you, what she said? 21, 21. 21, 21. This is what uh, uh, a jack stand looks like. That come from zone fitness. Trying to get the tire under the sun. Under the sun. Under the other way, other way, other way, other way. To the back. Possible. To the back. No traceless foot. Oh. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna 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 go. i Oh, we must leave it. Look at this, this is move me. Flexible is mad. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. So she said. Yeah, it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what's the switch that? Um, Sensor switch, viti vati, oil. Oil temperature switch. Yeah. 
This could be like... What is this now again guys? Just come in there. Are we gonna tow? Oh, we're gonna... Oh, okay. Nah. <laughs> but what, what motor do you think is better? Like a fuel injection or a carb? I think it's a matter of preference. I don't think someone like, can drive cooperative. That's why I don't say fuel injection. But, um, but doesn't it say fuel? Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, you want to drive your kids to school or do you want to die with the cooperative? Two different objectives. Um, let's, let's say a uh, commercial. Commercial? I guess then fuel injection is going to be a little bit better. I know some guys that can tune a carburetor better than a fuel injection, so, so that is just a tip, but that's not an immediate thing to do. Oh, slow, slow release. They need to lean back there, when she walk up in the club. You're going to shoot, Joe. Let me know. Oh, shit. Can I get this? You level them up, say side in. Side, yeah. It'll be easier. Finally out. Sure. Sure. Damn, bro. That man is busy with a truck. Okay, they we getting uh what is this? Uh physio physio and fitness. This is a learning channel at the end of the day. Okay, so what are we doing now? Yeah? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So she said. 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 So she Wesley and Ezra. Wesley's angels. Yeah, this fuck dance day. Oh. Was that the thing you were struggling with tomorrow? Yeah, but behind the plate, which is a tin probably. We got the stick, bro. So she said. You were wrong, oh. So she said. She didn't say that. Okay, it's a flash. Uh, so, where are we now? Um, are you mine still? Uh, as one come with the casing, not every car. Because um, I actually never actually removed <laughs> a Mark 1 before. I made your mid Oh, this is, this is the learning channel. Yeah, the learning channel. Oh, explain to the, to the people how you got the. Uh, um, what is that thing called again that we took off now? Pressure plate. Yeah. That, um, we did an illegal move. We used two power bars to get off, how much? I think it's six nuts. We took five off like that. We two, just, four, six, yeah. Yeah, we just moved it, turned it in opposite directions. And then the very last one, I stuck a, a flat screwdriver in on the... Yo, what pulley is that? Anyway, on this specific bully here, yeah, it runs on the cam belt, shoved it in there, and it pretty much pinned up with these two pulleys, which gave some sort of fix for the last nut to come out. And this is what YouTube don't tell you. Yeah, when you search. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is how you take off the pressure plate to get to the uh, uh, the easy the way, way, and then there's the KF way. Yeah, you can see there's an indent over here. Mm -hmm. If you have flashlight, David Owens. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they probably, can see. Okay, they probably, 
had the oil leak just here at the bottom because you said it was dripping down lower. Eh? Yeah. That's the only one. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something from it. I know I personally learned a lot. TDC, um, different coolants that you get, uh, regularly changing your timing belt. So, so, so many stuff. So once again, a big shout out to Wella and Ezra for helping me. I appreciate it so much. And if you guys have any advice and tips for us, please drop it in the comment section. We will appreciate it so much because your comments will help potentially someone else who is in the same who is on the same mission as us uh, so please do drop a comment and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and comment yeah, i'll see you in the next video